Browns getting ready in, in the middle, really, of OTAs. And Tom Pelissaro from NFL.com tweeted this out. Uh, some of the 20, 22 of the 32 teams um, are kind of revamping and modifying plans for OTAs starting this week after discussions between players and coaches. And uh, some of the veterans are staying away, but after weeks of boycott talk statements, many of those veterans are showing up. When we talk Browns football, we like to welcome in Mary Kay Cabot, Browns beat reporter for the Plain Dealer, as well as Cleveland.com. Mary Kay, what can you tell us uh, about the Browns and the potential for having in-person OTAs with Cleveland Browns? Well, you know, within a story that I just posted a little while ago uh, with Andrew Billings, an exclusive interview with Andrew Billings, he talks a little bit about what's going on with the Cleveland Browns in terms of the decision making process uh, for these OTAs. First of all, he said the players have decided they're going to kind of close ranks and keep it in house. and They're trying not to uh, say too much about what they're doing, but they are sticking together as a team. He said that is the key, is that coaches and players are presenting a united front in this as best as they can. And they're really trying to come up with something that works for everyone. So I think what's happening right now is they're working through some things. And this is phase three of the uh, offseason program that starts this week. Uh, they're going to do, and we know this for a fact, they're going to do some limited field work this week. What they'll try to then do is after this week, have some OTAs, now they're voluntary, but over the next two weeks, have some voluntary OTAs, some practices that are a little bit more comprehensive than what will be going on this week. And we're not sure who will show up yet or who will not, but I think it will be more than what the Browns originally intended to do. How important are the OTAs? And um, if the Browns don't have as many people in as the other teams, like you, you hear Kansas City Chiefs are going to have 81 people or, you know, I'm, I'm pulling a number out of thin air, but they're going to have almost a full team. Does that put the Browns behind at all or do they not view it that way? Well, they're not viewing it that way. And, uh, you know, they they went 11 and five last season and made it to the AFC divisional playoffs with a virtual offseason. And the NFLPA and J.C. Treader are trying to you know, remind the players that uh, that they stayed healthier, that they stayed safer amid the pandemic with a virtual offseason. However, if all of these other teams are practicing in OTAs, then I do think it puts the Browns behind. And that's just sort of the reality of the situation. Now, they're doing virtual meetings and they're doing virtual walkthroughs and practices or whatever they can do right now. But I still think when you have all these other teams that have almost uh, a full turnout, last week they had there were 10 teams that had basically a full turnout including the Chiefs, and I do think that it puts the Browns a little bit behind. Yeah, you don't want to put yourself at a competitive dis disadvantage, absolutely. 